Hi, and welcome to this Estrange development blog video. In this video, I'm just going to show you the Estrange Act 2 HUD, the heads up display in Estrange Act 2 so far. And first, I want to show you the HUD in Estrange Act 1. So you see, we have two elements there at the minute, and I've actually cheated. You don't get the flashlight uh, this early in the game. I just gave it to myself with the console. Um, so you see the uh, two HUD elements down there, one representing health, one representing the flashlight. And Estrange Act 1, you were uh, presented with different HUD elements as you needed them, as different things uh, happened in the game. So if you get a gun, you get the ammo in the top right-hand corner. So in Estranged Act 2, we need some kind of indicator for health. So I'm going to show you what we have so far. So you can see down on the bottom left, there is the same health indicator from Estranged Act 1. Now I'm going to show you what happens if I hurtle myself off this building as well, so let's do that. Now you saw as we landed, it took off mm, about 60% of my health. The screen desaturated and we got this interesting fringe effect around the trees here. We also saw damage indicators at the side of the screen. So I don't think I'll be able to survive that again, so I should probably exit from here. Now, I'll just delve in to how this is working very quickly. So, let's first look at the blueprint. So, most things in Estranged use blueprints because they're very, very easy to specify resources. So, in this case, we're specifying lots of texture resources that the HUD uses. And these are then used to actually draw the elements on the screen in C++. So here we have the damage indicator. That's the thing that appears at the corners of the screen. Uh, the scaling for that, the position, and, sorry, not the position, the size of that and the fade time. And also the, uh, the crosshair in the middle of the screen, the size of that. And these sizes are relative to the uh, screen resolution, or rather the resolution that the, um, the viewport is rendered at. Uh, we also have the health indicator foreground, these are alpha textures. Uh, so this is just the red cross, and that's its background, and the size of that and the position of that. So let's show you what happens if I make the viewport here slightly smaller. So let's Alt and P that. You see that both UI elements got a lot smaller. So let's scale that up. Now you see that the UI elements are scaling with our viewport resolution, which is what we want. So let's uh, get out of that mode and go over to Visual Studio where the C++ is for this. Now, everything in Estranged has this EST health data struct, every character, sorry. So every character has this and that defines the health and the maximum health. Uh, this is just the default. So the player has 100 health. So if we go to uh, the estranged player HUD over here, we see that we have a draw HUD. Uh, th this is an overridden method. So if we go to the actual header file here, we've got draw HUD, we're overriding it. And in here, we're doing some checks. Is the player dead? Is the current view target uh, the player? Uh, this will not be the player if there's a matinee or sequencer sequence playing. Uh, so that's quite important, because at the beginning of A Strange Act 2, we have a sequencer uh, sequence playing, and we don't want the HUD showing during that. So here we've got the three calls for drawing the crosshair, drawing the health indicator in the bottom left, and drawing damage indicators for when we get damaged. Um, now all of these are doing some very simple draw, draw texture calls, and draw texture just calls down to the uh, Unreal Engine HUD class. Um, so what we do here is we're just calculating the size relative to the canvas size, which is our viewport here. Uh, we're doing the same thing for the health indicator, except we're querying the player, getting the, health, the character health data out of there, and then scaling the red bit of the health indicator accordingly, so it actually shows the player's health. Damage, damage indicators as well. Um, it's a little bit more complicated here. Um, 
So what we're doing is we're calling this project method on the uh, Unreal Engine HUD class, which projects the uh, 3D space, uh, sorry, the, the world space coordinates of the last damage location into uh, 2D screen space coordinates. So then we can actually uh, tell where the damage came from. Now it uses the damager actor location currently. So we're listening to, uh, oops, let's go up to the top. Currently we're listening to the player on take point damage event. And down here, we're caching away the damage causes actor location. So when you're taking full damage, it's sometimes not completely accurate. So in that case, you may have to do something different. You see there it highlighted from the left, but in terms of things shooting you, it should be correct. So I'm gonna jump off again, cause it's fun. There we go. That was correct. Uh, there's also a balcony in here that we can jump off of very quickly. As I said, this is all work in progress content, so none of this here is final. So let's jump down and you see that we only took a little bit of fall damage. I'm going to quickly show you where the fall damage is calculated as well. So this is our ESD player class. Um, this, is, this is where all of the logic for the player happens. And you can see here we have this landed override. Um, so when we land, we look at the uh, last velocity and we're always updating the last velocity. Uh, I think it's on tick. Oh, sorry, it's right above it. So yeah, it's, it's on tick. And I've tried to make this frame independent because uh, this could potentially not be. And I think this does it, although I'm not completely certain. I think I need to, need to check with someone just to see if that's correct. But this updates the velocity every uh, tick and caches it away. And then when we detect that the player has landed, we then check that and see if it's over our velocity damage threshold. And our velocity damage threshold is stored in our player object. So that's this blueprint. And there it is. So currently it's 600. So if the velocity exceeds 600, then we take off damage we take off some health rather. So we also uh, do this applying point damage. That's what triggers the point damage event. Uh, and we also do the uh, player camera manager, play world camera shake. So we, we make the, the camera shake just a little bit when we land. So let's just hit play. And you see that the, the, the camera is slightly punched. And that's that. So that's a work in progress view of the uh, Estranged Act, Act 2 HUD. Thank you very much for watching.